Welcome to Bobblehead George. Today, with the help of periodic presidents, we're going to be taking a look at POTUS number 12, Zachary Taylor. For many, Zachary Taylor seemed like an unlikely presidential candidate. He was not heavily involved in politics during his four decade long military career, but achieved national fame due to his service during the Mexican War. His leadership style became a major influence on future general and president Ulysses S. Grant. When asked during the Mexican War if he would ever run for president, Zachary Taylor said that the thought never entered my head, nor is it likely to enter the head of any sane person. Even though Taylor did not think of himself as the ideal presidential candidate, the Whigs nominated him in 1848. The election pitted Zachary Taylor against Democratic candidate Lewis Cass. The 1848 election was the first time Zachary Taylor ever voted in an election, and he defeated Lewis Cass, 163 electoral votes to 127. Taking a look at the periodic cell of Zachary Taylor, you can see that it's green, showing that he was a member of the Whig party. The 12 in the top center of the cell indicates that he was the 12th president, and the one in the top right shows that he was elected to one term. The years he was in office are displayed at the bottom of the cell, and a gray stripe running through the bottom of the cell indicates that he died while in office. Old rough and ready Zachary Taylor took office in a time where sectional tensions were at an all-time high. Taylor threatened to use military force against southern leaders who presented the idea of secession. Taylor never saw the end of these sectional differences, as his presidency was cut short. After attending a ceremony on the 4th of July at the then under construction Washington Monument, Zachary Taylor ate a feast of cherries and then washed it down with some nice iced milk. Taylor began to feel ill and five days later, Zachary Taylor passed away at the age of 65 due to a digestive illness. Taylor, the third Whig president, became the second president to die in office. Taylor's death left the office open to his vice president, Millard Fillmore. If you want to learn more about the presidents, presidential elections, the Constitution, and so much more, visit Periodic Presidents at PeriodicPresidents.com. To make sure you don't miss out on more original history content, click up here. To see the previous president, click down here. We'll see you next time.